Thank you, Madam Chair. The Office of the County Council has four items on tonight's agenda, and I would be happy to answer any questions. Questions, Freeholders? Freeholder Granadas? I see we're running out of uh, purchasing the property. So I want to know exactly how we got to this point from using the purchase. Sure. First of all, I extend my congratulations to you and your swearing in tonight. Uh, and with reference to the agenda item, um, this is a, it's item number four, uh, 6199 West Grand Street. This is a piece of property we've been renting for approximately 15 years. Uh, the last portion was a, a lease term of 10 years. At the end of that 10-year agreement, it was uh, provided for an option uh, to purchase. Um, during that period of time, there was quite a bit of litigation going on between the actual owner of the property, a lessee. We were a sub-lessee. Um, with all that going on, though, at the time, we did attempt to exercise our option to purchase the property. Um, there was um, ongoing disputes between the owner and the lessee that have resulted in an arbitration proceeding between them um, and uh, actually to a point where it, it got to a point where we really didn't even know who to be paying the lease to, uh, the, our lease payments to. Um, by the end of 2011, um, our lease monthly lease payments were up to just under $40,000 a month. It was pretty clear to us that if we could reach a reasonable price for the purchase of this property, uh, we'd be much better off owning it than um, continuing to lease it. Uh, throughout that period of time, once we established uh, exactly who to be negotiating with and trying to finalize that, um, uh, we entered into negotiations. Uh, there was a point where we were concerned that we did believe it was in our best interest to own the property and that uh, contemplated uh, condemnation proceedings. Uh, at the same time, we were in the middle of eviction proceedings. Um, and the end result is, uh, you know, this is the amount uh, that we have been able to negotiate for the purchase of that property. Uh, we, we do recommend it. We think it's a fair and reasonable price in the world circumstances. Can you briefly on if I really appreciate you further clarifying that for me? Quite well. Page four, number 804. Uh, resolution to purchase the property located at 61-99 West Grand Street in Elizabeth. I appreciate uh, freeholders. Uh, Granados actually, uh, you know, jumping right on board and asking the question. I mean, that's a big number. I feel it's very high. Uh, so, I, you know, my, my problem is that it seems like there's a lot of baggage with this. Somehow it's very, very high. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to the eviction proceedings. Something must have cost the taxpayers money on this. Uh, so that that's just my comment. On that. I, 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 maybe I'll I'll open the appraisal uh, for that property because that seems like a big enough problem. I'd like to echo um, some of the comments that the earlier speaker uh, spoke on resolution 804. Um, maybe we can make the three appraisals um, public. Um, it seems like if we spent $400,000 a year for the last 10 years, we'd probably be paid for this building over once now. Now we're going to buy it? We should have bought it 10 years ago. Uh, maybe if we're not spending the money on other things, we would have the money to spend it where it's really needed uh, and taxpayers could um, be helped. Um, let's see. Just to 804 and town council, you can correct me if I'm wrong, it was not available for sale um, 10 years ago, especially when we started leasing. Okay, thank you. 